There are a few learning objectives for this video. The first one is to help you identify the x-axis and the y-axis on a line graph. And the second learning objective actually has two elements to it. One is to help you describe a manipulated variable and a responding variable. And next, identify which axis on the graph they are located. Let's start with the first learning objective. This is information you're just going to have to commit to memory. I tell my students the y-axis is always up and down, which is vertical. So I have them hold up their hand and make it like a y, like the Shaka sign. And hold that y up and down. And hopefully that will remind you that the y-axis always goes up and down. And if you remember that, well, the opposite is the x-axis, which is always side to side or horizontal. Let's move on to the next learning objective, or the first part of the next one. To help you describe a manipulated variable and a responding variable. Well, what is a variable? A variable is something being measured in an experiment that could possibly change. The manipulated variable we manipulate if you're the researcher. So that's a variable that's changed on purpose. And the responding variable, well, that changes in response to the manipulated variable. Let's look at some data gathered from some research to help us describe a manipulated variable. As we look at this data table, we see, we see that the researchers were measuring the temperature inside a glass cage and also the number of croaks that a frog would make per minute. Of these two variables, which one was changed on purpose by the experiment? They changed the temperature in the cage. And as the temperature in the cage changed, so did the frog's croaks per minute. The croaks started to increase. So the temperature is the manipulated variable, and the frog's croaking is the responding variable. That's what responded to the temperature change. Let's look at another example. Now in this experiment, they observed the height of a corn plant. Now, they, they didn't actually change time. What they did is they changed the time they observed at this plant. So the manipulated variable was when they observed the plant from week to week. And in response to that, the height of the corn plant changed. So let's identify which axis on the graph a manipulated variable is placed and in which axis a responding variable is placed. The manipulated variable is always located on the x-axis. A student of mine said, is a big comic book fan and said he remembers this because he thinks of X-Men and it's got the x-axis and the manipulated variable starts with the word man. So perhaps that'll help you remember that. The manipulated variable is always on the x-axis. And the responding variable is always on the y-axis. So let's review. Look at this graph. Identify the x-axis and the y-axis. Hopefully you remember the x-axis goes side to side. And the y-axis goes up and down. Now looking at this data, where would we place the manipulated variable? The x-man, the variable that we changed was time. So that goes on the x-axis. And then in response, the height of the corn plant changed. The responding variable is placed on the y-axis. Let's look at this data. Let's remember where the x-axis is placed. That's side to side, or horizontal. And the y-axis is up and down, or vertical. And looking at the data, which variable was changed on purpose or manipulated by the experimenter, the temperature inside the cage, and in response, the frogs croak per minute. And that goes on the y-axis. So assess yourself. You might have to refresh your memory on this information because it was really short and brief. But test yourself. Can you label the x-axis and the y-axis on this graph? x-axis there, y-axis there. How about uh, describing a manipulated variable and a responding variable? 
Can you pause the video and describe it? Manipulated variable we manipulate, we change on purpose. Responding variable changes in response to the manipulated variable. And then how about identifying where these are on a line graph? The manipulated variable is on the x-axis. The responding variable is on the y-axis. 